This video will show you some tools that use speech to text and text to speech capabilities for supporting students. So the first one I want to show you is the closed captioning in Google Slides. So you can start with any prepared slideshow that you have. So for example, if you have a slideshow that you're presenting to a particular group, once the slideshow is open, you must be in present mode to enable the closed captioning. So you click present. When you're in present mode in Google Slides, a presenter's toolbar shows up temporarily in the bottom left corner if you're moving your mouse. And if you select on the CC captions icon here, as long as your computer has a microphone that has been enabled, your speech will be captured in real time. For now, the closed captioning is only available in English and only appears at the bottom of the screen. In order to stop the closed captioning, you just hover over the area where the toolbar shows up and you can shut it off. Google Docs also has a great speech to text tool. So in Google Docs, you can start a new blank document or continue working on a dark document that you started previously. It's always good to title your document first. In Google Docs, the speech to text tool is located in the tools menu, which appears just here at the top. So when you click on tools, about halfway down, you're looking for voice typing. The first time you use the voice typing tool, it'll ask you to enable the microphone that's either uh, an internal microphone in your computer or one that you have attached to a headset. To use the speech to text tool in Docs, you need to turn the microphone on. And when you do that, the microphone turns red, period. This is a great tool for recording thoughts when you are reading, comma. Students could record a lecture that a teacher is giving, comma, or a group of students working on a project could record their process, period. When you're finished recording, you just click on the microphone and it turns it off. The thing that I love about this particular tool is now that you have your, wor your words recorded on a document, you can then go and translate that document to another language. So again, clicking on the tools menu, about halfway down, just above voice typing, you'll see translate document. And what it does is it tells you that it's going to create a copy of the document that you started. So you automatically have a copy of each. You can rename this document if you choose, and then you choose the language that you want to translate it into. So I'm gonna translate this into Danish, and it generates a new document with the translated text. Read and Write is a Google Chrome extension that the district has provided for us. So for most of you, you will see the Read and Write extension in the upper right corner, somewhere to the right of your address bar. It appears as a small purple puzzle piece. When you are in a document or slideshow or on a website, you can click on the Read and Write icon and a new toolbar opens up. The company that creates Read and Write offers a full version of the toolbar the way you see it here for teachers. So if you're interested in having full capabilities with this toolbar, if you click on the three dots menu here, it'll take you out to the text help website. If you scroll down and click on upgrade, it will take you to their upgrade page where it will ask you if you work in education. So you can register for their free premium teacher subscription here. They just ask you for the information about the district that you work in um, and just some other information just to verify that you're a teacher. So once your full version comes through, you have the capability of using all of these tools. Students have only the free version, so many of these tools will be grayed out, but one of the tools 
that is really helpful for a lot of students is the text to speech. To use the read aloud option, you can highlight the text that you would like it to read and then click the play button right here. And when you do that, the microphone turns red. This is a great tool for recording thoughts when you are reading. Students could record a lecture that a teacher is giving, or a group of students working on a project could record their process. If you want to adjust the voice, you go back to the three dots menu, click on options, so you can slow down the speed with which the voice is reading. You can also change the voice to whatever it is you'd like. And when you do that, the microphone turns red. This is a great tool for recording. I hope some of these tools can be useful for you and your students.